Chris, is it is it wrong to say the following? Oh, well, whatever you're about to say. <laughs> you got to ask. Uh, the fact that you addressed me, you know that I'm going to say no, it's not wrong, probably. <laughs> okay. That your Red Sox and my Yankees won as many playoff games as the Rays and the Orioles this year. <laughs> I know. Is that wrong? And is the that wrong? And the is Blue that and the Blue Is that Jays. wrong? And the Blue Jays. Yep. That's right. They at least went over. I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't leave them out of uh, of all that, right? Now here's the thing. I feel Rick. bad. I, I feel thing. bad because again, again, yeah. I know so many O's fans. Our me, buddy Josh me Charles, too. me too. I went Lock to and Fulbro, who will never forget, who will never forgive me for something like that. Oh, yeah. uh, back in the day when the Ringer actually allowed some of their people on our show, Mallory Rubin was there, you know, and Have so we, been you know, we had that. banned by the Ringer. Um, I, it seems like it. I think I don't now, Rich, know. Now, look, when like you know, if I know you wouldn't root for Ohio State, but when if they do make the national championship and you don't, you do kind of want them yes. to win because that's you know kind of Big Ten pride. Were you mm. secretly rooting for no. AL East teams in the playoffs, no. even though? No, no, no. I actually I wanted the Orioles to go deep okay. because they, they, I think it's a great story that they lose a hundred games, then they win a hundred games just a couple years later, and they yeah. have all these young kids and everything like that. But oh my gosh, I, you know, again, the, the sports can just make people petty, um, and I, I guess I'm one of those people right now that the number of times the Yankees would get their butts whipped by the Orioles this year. And rightfully so they were a better team. They're yeah, better equipped. They're same. better run. They're a better rostered. They're better. Everything um, that, that I would just be scrolling through and just like all sorts of smack from these folks. Like, you know, like they've been the 27 Yankees for the last 15 <laughs> years, you know, and, right. and now, you know, and the Rays after the Yankees lost to them, you know, and they were like, yeah, we, we don't think much about teams that are 10 games out, you know, got that little smack talk. And the Jays were smacking towards the Yankees as well about how things have changed. And, you know, they're not the team to beat anymore. All true things. Um, but when it came time to um, what's the word for it? Uh, walk the walk or win the win. Um, zero, no bueno, zero, zero point zero. zero. And, um, and uh, man, we were talking about this the other day, Bruce Bochy now, uh, sweeping yeah. the Orioles out to get to the American league championship series for the Texas freaking Rangers, <laughs> right. Um, is just one of the most remarkable achievements, uh, managerial achievements. And interestingly enough, I saw a stat on Jason Stark's Twitter feed, by the way, that, um, interestingly enough that the Orioles were the first team to not get swept at all in a series in the regular season, but get swept in the postseason. The last team to do it was the 98 Padres managed by Bochi didn't get swept during the regular season at all, but the Yankees swept them four games to none right. uh, in the world series that year. Um, so the fact that Bochi is doing what he's doing is unbelievable. And it looks like potentially it's going to be an all Texas American League championship series uh, with the Astros uh, being on the verge. And they should get Costanza there, right? For that sort of thing. <laughs> you um, tell those SOPs. You tell them, you know, <laughs> I'm not coming to Houston. Um, and then, of course, the Dodgers aren't being on the verge. The Phillies and the Braves are just must see television. It's it's yeah, been an interesting be postseason, and obviously, if the Dodgers get swept out by the Diamondbacks, then what in the world do they do? Like, where we're where gonna, do they go? We're gonna have our annual um, is Dave Roberts coming back? You know, conversation. It, that seems to be it, but it also seems to be you know, I mean, how is it his fault that uh, Mookie and Freeman go one for thirteen in the first two games of their yeah. series? You know how, how and that Kershaw um, has such a terrible outing, and then you know Bobby Miller doesn't do very much. Now it's on Lance Lynn, everyone, uh, to try and stave off the sweep. So that's um, that's some interesting stuff right there from uh, from the playoffs. I kind of wanted to hit that. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.